John from JO Ventures Outdoors, and I'm coming to you with another video today. And uh, I, I really have been enjoying seeing all the videos on the canoe pattern. So I thought I would share the canoes in my collection. And uh, I'm just thinking of our uh, buddy HT's EDC. Uh, excellent channel. He's got the canoe crew, and uh, that is just an awesome uh, idea and we're seeing all kinds of great videos on everybody's canoes um, and the canoe pattern really is an awesome pattern and I haven't really carried it very much um, but I do have a couple and I want to share those with you so just a shout out to HT and his channel really enjoyed it he's right at just over I mean well over 800 I think uh, 850 ish so it'd be great to see him uh, hit the 1k mark big milestone. He's doing an excellent job. Uh, so go check out HTZDC and the canoe crew. And uh, so, uh, and he's got a sticker for that. So I don't know, HT, if you're watching this, I'd really love to have a sticker. I'll, I'll, I'll send you an email and give you my address and that sort of thing. So, or text you. So that'd be awesome. So let me show you a couple of canoes. I wouldn't mind getting a few more canoes in my collection, but, uh, uh, here's the two that I have. I only have two. Uh, the first one is this Rough Rider. It's a 2229 um, Rough Rider, uh, 440 uh, stainless steel, of course. Got half stops. Got that beautiful green uh, bone covers. It's got the R on there uh, on the bolsters. And uh, you can see that classic canoe shape. The big advantage to a canoe is that uh, the blade and blade, um, the end of the blade here, uh, blade tang, I guess you could say, are uh, sunken within the bolster. So you've got a nice smooth transition. You don't feel that. Now, of course, you shouldn't feel the blade, but it's got a nice smooth transition, transition and it's shaped like a canoe, of course. So this is a small one, um, small canoe. Um, and uh, we'll reach over here and get, sorry about that, get my tape measure. I got me a nice little uh, Made in USA uh, Globemaster tape measure here. So let's take that. And, so this is about two and a half inches closed. Uh, the main blade here, I'll show you the small one here in just a minute. Oh, it's just over an inch, inch and a half uh, long, something like that. So just a real small, uh, small canoe there. And... Great for your fifth pocket. Got this little tiny pin blade uh, as the secondary blade, but I really like this. I picked this up in Helen, Georgia. I don't know if anybody's familiar with that area, but picked it up in a shop there that actually sold Rough Riders in the shop. Don't see very many of those um, in a retail shop like that. So I thought that was really cool. The next one was a gift from my mother, um, one Chris, well, one birthday. Uh, several years ago. Um, she has since passed away, uh, but this is the Buck 389. And uh, you can see the marking there. I could probably look up the year, um, but um, yeah, this is uh, pretty cool. I'm sure this is probably, uh, this is a Chinese Buck, um, but you know, I don't mind that at all. There it is, China. Um, I think this might have been a Walmart exclusive at one time. But I love the bone, uh, the bone covers on this, the covers on this, and the colors there, and just the differences between the two. There you've got that classic canoe shape, the spear point, I mean spear point blade. This is a very sharp knife, by the way, um, and got great action. A really pretty good fit and finish, too, and the small spear point blade. Made in China. I'm sure this is probably the... This might be the 420J, whatever it is, steel that they have on the less expensive buck models. Uh, but still, pretty awesome for a canoe. In fact, I think I'm going to carry this a little bit. I did carry it some when I first got it, but I haven't carried it much since then. I just have lots of other options. But, you know, I want to check out the canoe pattern and carry that a little more. I might have to pick up another one if I can. And the last one I have here is not mine. This is not my canoe. 
this is David Burge's uh, canoe. I still have this. Uh, it's on loan to me. It is a Rough Rider. And I failed to look at the number 2297. And it's got half stops. Got the 440 steel. That nice pin blade. Uh, G10 covers. And it's got kind of that red and black G10. I just love that coloration. Um, this is a very solid knife. Very cool uh, canoe pattern. I uh, thought since I had it uh, still that I would, um, would share it with you. In my last video, I shared some of the knives that he had loaned to me. I've got most of those going on their way back to him. But I thought, uh, but I'm keeping this just a little longer to make a slip for it. So um, it is a little thicker, as you can see, than the buck. So I thought it would be good to keep it just a little longer and finish up his slips. So pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. So there's three canoes for you, HT. Uh, the Canoe Crew. Go take, check out HTZDC. And uh, the Canoe Crew over there. And uh, Canoe Pattern. Try one out. Uh, they are an awesome pattern to carry, especially as a secondary knife. But, you know, if you prefer a smaller knife, and uh, maybe it could be your primary. So, excellent. So, uh, thank you all for watching.